still the freezing point is zero degrees Celsius. But what happens if you add impurities like salt? I started thinking about this after I thought about Antarctica. See all this ice, but it's almost always under zero degrees. Wouldn't that mean that this water around it would also be freezing? So that led me to this science experiment. My big question throughout this whole experiment was, will salt water or regular water stay liquid after its freezing point? What I predicted, or my hypothesis was, that I predicted the salt water will stay liquid after its freezing point, but the regular water will freeze. The materials that you need for this simple experiment is salt, water, two plastic cups, a measuring cup, a freezer, and a pencil and data sheet. The last one's optional. The controlled variable is the variable that does not change. There's two, the cup and the amount of water. To make sure you get the same amount of water, you need the measuring cup. The manipulated variable is the variable that you did change. I changed the water by pouring, putting salt in it. The responding variable was the what you wanted a response from. I wanted to see which cup of water stayed liquid. So now my procedure was first get two plastic cups, next get a measuring cup, then get the salt and the tap water. After you gather all the materials, pour 100 milliliters of water into the cup. Then put five teaspoons of salt into one cup and stir it well. Next, put the cups in the freezer and wait five days. Finally, record the data you got and compare it to mine. Before I show you my data, I'm gonna show you the procedure in visual form. That's the pitcher with water in it and those are the two cups. I poured it in each one and put salts in this one. Then I waited five days and then I recorded my data. This is how it looks before you freeze the water. Now I will show you my data. On day one, I noticed that the regular water froze and the salt water got cold. On day two, no changes were observed for the salt water cup when comparing it to day one. On day three, the salt sitting on the bottom was frozen. All that salt on the bottom, it was on a ring around the edge and was frozen. On day four, there was flakes on of ice on the top, but it remained liquid. What I thought was cool about that is it's sort of like icebergs in Antarctica, going back to the map again. And on day five, no changes were observed for the salt water cup when to, comparing it to day four. The conclusion to this experiment, when I wrapped it up, I found out that my hypothesis was proven. The salt water did not freeze, but the regular water did. The regular water froze on the first day, but the salt water did not freeze even at the end of the fifth day. Adding enough salt, after that, I learned adding enough salt to the water lowered the freezing point from zero degrees Celsius to minus 21 degrees Celsius. A freezer does not go to minus 21 degrees Celsius. Hence, if you use a freezer to freeze the water, it will not freeze. It will just stay like this. Food for thought. Now that you heard about this experiment, I'll give you some more things to think about. What makes ice fishing possible? And it, since adding salt to water makes the freezing point go down, will it make the boiling point go down? Thank you for listening.